Hello, this is Helene. Today I'm going to introduce you with BWA. First, what is BWA? BWA is a software package for mapping low divergent sequences against a large reference genome, such as a human genome. It is content with uh, three packages, three small algorithms, BWA Backtrack, BWSW, and BWMEM. Uh, we will strongly recommend it you to use BWMEM for high quality queries as it is faster and more accurate. When to use BWA? We meet this software first in RNA seq data analysis where we got tons of small RNA reads from a Lumina sequencing machine. Before we can get the reads of each gene, we have to map in the small reads back to the reference genome so that we can count the frequency of it. And similar softwares are Top Hat and Star. First, installation. You can install BWA both on your computer or load it as a module on Odyssey. To install it on your computer, uh, go to your uh, Chrome and search BWA. Click the first website, which is the official BWA uh, website. Go to repository and copy the link at the bottom. Go back to the folder where you want to install it. Open a terminal at that location. Type git clone and that link you copied. It should finish in a few seconds and change into that folder, type make. In a few seconds, you should be done. You are able to check whether it is installed uh, properly by type uh, menu bwa.bong. If you got to this uh, menu page, then you should be all set. Type Q to exit it. Um, install BWA on Odyssey is straightforward as well. Go to your uh, first log on to your Odyssey and then type source new modules. Source new mod. Uh, sorry for the typo. Then find out the uh, BWA module you want to load from the RC portal. Choose the core one instead of the compo one to avoid some uh, package conflict errors. Type module load. The module name and you are all set. The parameters you could use with Odyssey or uh, with BWA, uh, the most frequently used command is MEM, which can work for both uh, single end and pair end data. And there are some parameters you can use along with it. First slash t, which is number of threads you want to use. Slash k, which is the minimum seed length. Uh, Odyssey will not uh, match shorter than this, this number. And slash w, which is the band width. Um, essentially, the gaps longer than that number will not be found. Slash p, which assumes the first input query file is an interleaved pair and fast queue or fast file. Slash capital D uh, tells BWA to not output alignment with score lower than that threshold. The input file format. Uh, the BWA reads two input files, the read file and the uh, index genome file. The read file, which is a fast 
which could be a FASTQ file, uh, is formed with several reads. One read has a sequence ID followed by its sequence, quality ID followed by its quality score, and the index genome file, which is a FASTQ file, uh, starts with the header and then the sequence. Let's run a small example of it. Because the uh, genome file and the read file could be really huge with BWA, it takes lots of memory, so I strongly recommend you to run it on um, uh, Odyssey instead of your own computer. Go back to Odyssey and after load BWA, type BWA uh, MEM slash T indicating you want to use it thread and the uh, index genome file, the name of it and the location of it followed by the read file and a grid sign indicating to write the result to the output file you listed here. Otherwise, BWA will simply write the result to the standard out, which is the screen, and it will be hard for you to save it and do uh, further analysis of it. Okay, after a few times, it should run for a long time, so while it's running, let's talk about the uh, format of the output file. The output file is uh, the same file format, which stands for Sequence Alignment Map File. Let me show you one example of the same file. For each line, it is one read, and let's room in for one read. It contains of the index of that read and uh, the map index. Zero means OK, and four means unmapped. 16 means it mapped to the reverse string, which is also good. And followed by the reads and its quality score. And XA is a, a mapper specific thing. And the miss map match information. Uh, from this sequence, we can see there are three matches and a T in our sequence while a C in the reference sequence, followed by 30 matches, a T in our, a G in our sequence, and a T in the reference sequence. And the number of mismatches, which is two in our sequence here. And one thing nice about it is the same file can be read by the PAM, PAM sign same file function in Python. There are some other options for using PWA as well. You can use SAM SE and SAM PE to generate alignment in SAM format for single-end and pair-end data as well. You can also use ALN to find SE coordinates of the input reads and BWASW aligns query sequence in the in fact file when mate file is present. Some other notes about BWA is a memory requirement. BWA requires around 5 gigabyte memories to index uh, the complete human genome sequences. And uh, it took around 3 hours with BWSW algorithm to indexing the whole, whole human genome sequence. So I strongly recommend you to run it on Odyssey instead of your own computer. And some frequently asked questions, what type of data does 
BWA worked with, well, actually BWA worked with a variety of types of DNA sequence data. You can go onto their website and find the complete list of uh, files it worked with and the specific uh, code and parameters you should use along with that file. And why does uh, read appear multiple times in the output same file? Well, this could be due to some translocation, a gene fusion, or lung deletion. And why can one read in a pair has high mapping quality, but the other has zero? Is it a, a mistake? No, actually, it's correct, because the mapping quality is assigned for individual reads, not a read pair. And that's all about it. Uh, thank you for listening. Having fun with 